morning everybody i hope you all have a beautiful blessed day and thank you for visiting my channel as you see today we have uh, a piece of uh, pepper log uh, it's actually uh, just cut below the the crotch if you see that is actually a, because there is a two pits over here so this thing was a crotch so they just cut where the crotch ended and it looks interesting it's been given to me for a couple of years i've been sitting in a dry box so i'm pretty sure it's dry already so Usually something like that, I always say, let the wood tell me what it wants to be. Until then, I'm just gonna go at it. I'm gonna, this is of course gonna be my top, my bottom. I'm gonna clean up all that mess. Uh, I didn't wanna, cut it first of all it's too big for my bandsaw and uh, my chainsaw it's eh, not working very well so and I'm not sure what it's gonna be so I thought I'd just go at it the old-fashioned way was it with a chisel just go at it until it'll tell me this is it or I make a lot of shaving either way it's fun turning this to something so let me start putting my face shield and mask and and get ready Catch you in a minute. As you see with uh, that kind of RPM, it's very slow process. So, until pick up speed, can't do much about it. You could see the crotch now, but if I this early, we got to move like that. So yeah, I lost some uh, footage from the beginning of the movie, uh, the video. It sounds like I'm making a movie. <laughs> anyway, uh, and uh, I lost some footage also, and after this here, and the finishing of the outside. So uh, there is a few of them. Somehow, either the camera turned off or the battery was down, and I apologize about that in advance. And thank you for watching again. Good morning, everybody. It's been... Uh a day since I finished the outside and uh, I flipped it. I had things to do. Uh, I caught up with my things. So uh, as you see right now, I'm getting ready to hollow the inside. Uh, I'm still debating between what. This thing has a, a good size on it. I'm thinking, this thing I'm not mistaken. Tape measure when you need one, right? All right, 
this thing it's about roughly about 12 yeah 12 wide on this side on that side it's well, on the bottom side so it's the same so I kind of like that bark, but the thing it's it become an art piece. If I make a small opening and hollow it like a vessel, or I could go with a very thin wall all the way through. It's been a while since I did a thin wall. That is a gorgeous bark though. Has that um, alligator look into it. You can see it from the top over here. Anyway, let me get some of that bark from here either way because the vessel is going to be that far up opening because this thing is a mess to go inside unless I don't care what it look like and I do usually like to look like inside just like the outside well let me start with this and then we'll go from there so everything Secured. I have my uh, face shield on. I had it running low earlier, but it was running through, and it is so. So sorry, I forgot to turn the camera back on again and remove it a bit. I just tried to I tried to smooth this area so I don't have to come back because now the wall is about, you know, just a little bit over a quarter, about a quarter inch thickness in here. And it was gonna be vibrating, so while well, still was a lot of meat, I finished this area, so I have to come back. So as you see, it's uh, straight. Now I'm just trying to follow up the rest of it. Kind of forgot about the camera for a second. And as usual, you always remember in the end. At least I remembered, right? Anyway. Or as we say, any it is time to continue. So, let you guys catch up.
I'll bring you guys when I'm ready to get ready for sanding and all that good stuff, right? <laughs> Later. Good morning, everybody. As you see, I'm getting ready to sand this piece down from 80 to 400, so I could call it a day and it's finished. So, I don't think you're gonna wanna see the whole process, but I would uh, show you the beginning part of it anyway. Well, I'll bring you guys when I'm done with sanding and I'm ready to put the finishing touch on it. Later. Well, as you see, uh, I sanded down all the way to uh, uh, 400. Sorry about that. Trying to fix the light. 400. And it looks nice and smooth. Just gonna clean it with teenager alcohol. Sand and sealer. I'll bring you guys back in 30 minutes when I'm ready to finish this piece later. Hey everybody. So as you see, I am done. And I got it cleaned up. So I'm gonna use Howard butcher block conditioner. I don't know what they're gonna use it for. Most likely food and fruit. I know it's a natural edge with bark and all that, but I always have it. If it's a ball, I try to have it food safe because I don't know what they're gonna use it for and always been lucky with with that I'm just gonna cover it really good and let it sit for 30 minutes and then wipe it clean. And that's that. Let it sit for 30 minutes. Wipe it clean, dry. Put a second coat. Call it done. As usual, if you like what you see, thumbs up, you don't, thumbs down. I do appreciate any comment, any suggestion. And I do appreciate you guys visiting my channel always I do appreciate that and I will love for you guys to share my video that would help my channel to grow and
bang that bell please you'll be notified every time I upload the video peace and God bless later well finally done as you see I'm going to meet you on the display. I hope you all like it. A saddle ball. Talk to you guys later. I'll see you on final display and photo. And thank you again for visiting my channel. I do appreciate that. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Well, time to... Uh, that was the knob I had to remove. You see. Uh, so, time to... I already finished sanding it down, burn my stamp. And it's been hot for a while, so let's see. Let's try to send it as good as I can. This thing not even, so I got And that's that. I hope you do, you do. Thumbs up, you don't. Thumbs down, you know the routine. I hope you enjoyed your visit. Peace. Finally done. There it is. A saddle bow. One side lower than the other side, aside just about maybe about an inch and a half lower than the other side. And here, then maybe about a half an inch apart from each other. But otherwise, you could see the chateauian on that. And the bark is just, I had to leave something in there. So the Chateauian on this thing is just, just gorgeous. That's why I didn't want to make a, a closed vessel. I want to show inside. Oh, it's just beautiful inside to hide it. I hope you all like it. God bless. Peace.